Hey guys, what's up? I'm Christian Taylor, and today I'm going to be comparing iMovie against Adobe Premiere Rush. Now these are two fairly basic editing softwares, and they are great if you're starting out. So iMovie is available for free for Mac, iPhone, and iPad, and Adobe Premiere Rush is a new software by Adobe that is available for $9.99 per month, or it's also available with a Creative Cloud subscription. So as I just mentioned, Adobe Premiere Rush is available on Windows, whereas iMovie is Mac exclusive. So right off the bat, if you are a Windows user, you're probably gonna be looking at Premiere Rush. Now Premiere Rush has a lot going for it. For example, you don't have to save. Your projects are automatically saved to Adobe servers, and you can even upload a project from your desktop to the app and continue your editing on mobile. That's something that iMovie doesn't do. And the pros just continue with Rush. It has a really advanced color correction tool set and it features a lot of titles. So Premiere Rush is missing a lot of stuff. For example, that saving system that is very easy, well, it's too easy. You see, you don't save the project, it saves automatically, but you also can't duplicate projects or do save as. Ouch! And the sketchiness just continues. For example, there are only three transitions and there's no way to detach audio from a video track. iMovie has a number of pros, such as the ability to duplicate projects, detach audio from tracks, and do keyframe animations where you can zoom in actively as footage plays out. In addition, it also has many more transitions than the three that Adobe Rush offers. The biggest con in iMovie, which was also present in Rush, was the general unintuitiveness of the editing process. The little things like a blade tool being missing, or shortcuts just not being the same, or just not there to begin with, definitely slowed me down when using both of these programs. Also, while there are an extensive amount of titles available in iMovie, they're generally just cheesy and have a stigma of being overused. I can see an iMovie title from a mile away, but it's not as bad as Windows Movie Maker. Wow, that was a bad joke. So to really put these editors to the test, I enlisted the help of my producer, Matthew, to help me put together a short, cheesy, cringy, homeschooled skit. And we only had 30 minutes to edit it. No, I don't want that. But it's free. Where did you get these? I'm a liar. The skits were shot in 4K and they were supposed to be color corrected and also have at least one title. Although things went terribly wrong with Matthew. You see, he was using Premiere Rush and he only got like halfway through the video. Yeah, it was, it was halfway through. Yeah, he only got halfway through the video. Meanwhile, on iMovie, I was able to get through the entire video and also add an extra segment on to the end. Now sure, iMovie is only available on Mac, iPhone, and iPad. So if you're not a Mac or iOS user, well, I get it, you're out of luck. But Adobe Premiere Rush, on the other hand, is $9.99 a month. Now this would not be too expensive if it actually worked, but the lag, the no detaching audio, and the general just unintuitive editing process makes me wonder why on earth Adobe thinks they could charge $9.99 a month. Adobe Premiere Rush is as if the executives at Adobe were like, hey, you know, we rule the world when it comes to video editing. The pros, they love Premiere Pro. All we have to do is dumb it down just a little bit, just a little bit, and make it appealing to home users and people starting out editing videos, and we could capture more of the subscription market. Yes, except no. Now, one thing to mention is that Adobe made it very clear in their marketing with Rush that they are definitely targeting the on-the-go person. For example, you can see in this video, it's like some surfer person 
quickly editing clips together, and that's cool, I get it. I think this software works for on the go, really quick edits, nothing complex. But my problem is still that $9.99 price tag. I mean, what surfer is gonna pay $10 a month just to throw their clips together? There's plenty of free editors on the Google Play Store and the App Store that are just as capable and they're free or a one-time cost or a way cheaper subscription fee. So look, I get what Adobe's trying to do, and I guess at the very basic level, this is a decent editor. If you want to spend $9.99 a month on it, go ahead. But I personally don't see a reason to, and if you do have an Apple device, I would definitely recommend trying iMovie. So what do you guys think? Is Premiere Rush worth it, or would you rather use iMovie? What alternatives for Windows would you recommend? Definitely do be sure to leave a comment down below, and if you like this video, please do hit that subscribe button and click the bell so you don't miss when I release new videos. With that said, I will catch you guys next time.